Hello, dear traders, and welcome to Insta TV. You're watching Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. The oil market hit a losing streak again. The latest data from the US triggered a plunge. According to the Cushing crude oil inventories data, the stockpiles of crude oil at the main delivery point of the US increased by 630,000 barrels last week, which was much higher than analysts had predicted. Besides, the Energy Information Administration reported about effectiveness of oil drilling facilities, which can be a sign of a rising output in the country. The data raised concerns among market participants, so it contributed to a massive sell-off in oil futures. WTI benchmark is approaching the level of $48 per barrel. Reportedly, the OPEC Plus members decided to scale down the quota for oil production starting from January. However, this news failed to provide support to oil prices. Brent futures retreated from $58 per barrel. The commodity currencies also attract traders' attention today, closely following oil quotes. The US dollar was the Canadian dollar pair is hovering above the level of 1.3400. The Canadian dollar has no chances for recovering losses in the nearest future. The ruble is also trading lower against its American counterpart, though it is a peak of the tax period in Russia. The US dollar versus the ruble pair rebounded to last week's high at 66.80. However, experts anticipate that the current trend will be short-lived, arguing that the Fed rate hike has already been factored in, so the US dollar may lose ground after the FOMC announces its decision. As for the outlook for oil prices, the downtrend can reverse on Wednesday when the Energy Information Administration unveils the crude oil inventories report. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you back soon.